Hey guys, Chad Lachance here. If you've been following along, you know we picked up the new model of Toyota Tundra here in the spring of the year. And as I do with all the Toyota Tundras, um, I have a bunch of custom stuff done to them right away to make them a better, more competent outdoorsman vehicle. So I thought I'd talk about some of these. We're right at 10,000 miles with this truck at this point. Uh, very few highway miles. Made one long trip to Minneapolis and back. Uh, 900 some miles in one day each way we did that uh, been back to central kansas pulled the boat a bunch of places been up and over the past so i've done a lot of towing with it but also not a lot of highway miles most of it's been canyon and all that so let's talk about some of the modifications we'll get going from there so bullhead 4x4 built this one as they built all of them we'll start right here in the front we got a fab 4 bumper you can hear it's solid steel bumper right here we replaced the plastic it's got recovery points so that if I need to, if I get stuck or I need to pull somebody out, this is solidly mounted to the frame and I can put a tow hook on there and pull out. If you notice, I've got the light bar in there as well. I do a ton of driving guys on back roads, like a ton of driving on back roads. And that extra light keeps me from running over deer, seeing obstacles in the road, things like that. So that's a pretty handy thing. As we work around, you'll notice I wrapped the bottom of the truck all the way around this black vinyl wrap. It does two things, it makes the truck look a little bit taller it's kind of an optical illusion, but more importantly, it protects against rock chips and damage, which is very important as we spend the time like we do in the off-road. Coming around, we did suspension on the truck first thing. So we've got a couple inches of lift at the front and the rear. This was not a kit. We sourced a longer spring and a longer shock independently um, for the rear of the truck. And then here we just have a spacer on here because the Toyota spring and, and dampening rates were fine. So we just put a spacer in here so we could clear the tires. The tires are a 305 55 20 and they're wrapped around a 20 inch wheel, obviously eight and a half inch with a little bit more offset. If you notice this wheel's completely recessed to keep me from damaging the wheel with anything that I run by with the tire. So that's one of the features in the wheel. And also that wheel was chosen. This model of the wheel was chosen because it's very lightweight and I wanted to keep the unsprung weight, in other words, the weight the suspension has to control, I wanted to keep that as close to stock as possible because we have the stock shock and spring in the front. So the extra lightweight wheel offsets the extra weight of the slightly larger tire. So that's what's going on there. These tires have 10,000 miles on them and you can see they're nice and flat. They're doing just fine. And again, that's just a spacer. So as we move back down the truck, the RCI boards here, these are structural boards. The whole truck can be lifted from these. They put a high lift jack under there and you can lift the truck with it. They run the full length of the body of the truck. So it functions as a step and also excellent for keeping all the stuff off the bottom of this truck. And I literally just got back from a hunting trip, guys. The truck is dirty. This is exactly how I use it. And you can see this has got scrapes all the way along there, but it kept all that stuff off of the body of the truck. And again, the black vinyl will take care of uh, rock chips and things, but this does a great job of protecting all of that. And again, I can jack up from it if the truck gets stuck uh, or it's just a step for getting in and out. Moving further back down, obviously the same tire and wheel combo here. Here we chose independent spring and shocks. And we chose the, the shock, it's a Bilstein, to control the spring rate that we chose. And this spring rate is designed to hold 250 to 400 pounds more weight or more load than the stock spring rate in this truck. And you'll notice it's got, this still maintains the factory rake. It's lower in the front than the rear. There's nothing in the truck right now. It's empty. When I put a normal load and the trailer on the back, it sits perfectly level, which is how I wanted it. I like the, the stock rake because it avoids any understeer or oversteer. I get nice even tire wear. We've tested that one on a lot of Tundras, and I can tell you that the tire wear is excellent. I got a full 60,000 miles out of my last set of my previous Tundra, and I always maintain that stock front to rear rake where the rear's a little bit higher for handling purposes. I don't care the difference in looks. I want the handling. Working around the back, again, we've got the black vinyl. You can see there's already damage on this black vinyl right here. All of that would have been damaged to the bodywork if it wasn't for the black vinyl. And I can replace this vinyl for 50 bucks rather than tearing up that bodywork right there. Coming around the back, we still got more lighting. This is hot switched, rigid, uh, diffused lighting. So it's a big wide angle beam. It's hot switched up front. And, uh, and I'll show you that here in just a second, but I can turn those on and work around the truck without the truck being running. If I need to work on the boat or whatever the case might be. Inside the topper here, we've got full lighting I put in right here. The guys at a and Toppers in Littleton did that. And yes, guys, the truck is a mess. Cause again, I just got back from hunting and I actually use this truck. 
but it's got extra lighting in there. It's got the Toyota track system, the guys at a a the topper that we sourced here from Lear is fully carpeted and lined so we don't have a condensation issue. And then of course the bed rug. And I love these bed rug guys because they're soft on your knees, they're soft on your gear. They're easy to pull out, it's just Velcroed in so you can pull it right out if you need to, to clean it or anything like that. But they're just really, really handy to have around. So um, pretty cool setup in general. That a and a guys have been supporting outdoorsmen around Colorado for a really long time. And, uh, and that's why we bought all my toppers from them over the years. Same with the guys at Bullhide. Come around here with me guys real quick. I'll show you one more thing as we work around this side of the truck. I want to show you one more thing here. We always do these WeatherTech mats. And again, it's dirty. I want to point out, I just got back from hunting. The WeatherTech mats keep all the mud and everything off of my carpet, all this stuff. And then lastly, right here is the switches for the light bar and the backup lights. Bullhide 4x4 did a fantastic job with those. Again, both those are hot switched. So I can use them whether the truck's running or not. So that's the whole rundown on the modifications we did to the truck. Um, you know, other than that, it's just been a really great truck. I, it I've, it's good gas miles that handles like you wouldn't believe. Um, it's probably the best handling Tundra I've ever had. So check out the guys at Bullhide 4x4, also a a Toppers in Denver. Uh, fantastic guys, both those outdoorsmen. And of course, Peterson Toyota goes without saying. Those guys have been with us from the beginning, same as the other two. So check them out as well. So hope you guys like the Tundra. I'll let you know after the next 10,000 miles how I like it.